Hey guys, I'm Julia from This Model Eats A Lot and we are here at NRI in BKC, Mumbai. Now I'm sitting here with esteemed chef Atul Kocher. Thank you for being here. Hey, pleasure to be here. Hi guys, I'm Atul Kocher. I cook a lot. We're having a bit of a laugh actually because of This Model Eats A Lot, so it's <laughs> this chef cooks a lot. Cooks a lot. Definitely. <laughs> So, um, Atul, I wanted to ask you, um, what is your perception of Indian food in India as opposed to sort of Indian food abroad? Because I know that there are, you know, quite a few marked differences. So, I yeah. would be interested to hear your uh, My view on it. your view on it. So, I, I believe that uh, India, when you look for Indian food in India, it's very hard to get that. To Definitely. be honest, because it's a country which let's let's go back in time a bit. When British came along, we were fifty different countries. And we were brought together for for the administration purposes, and we decided to stay together as a country. And when British moved away, we have kind of continued to do that, and we have our own ethos. Each region has its own ethos uh, in terms of food, in terms of religion, in terms of the way they dress themselves. Also, the microclimate changes a lot. Yeah. The things that grow in north, they don't, they don't grow in south, and east, and west. So there's a lot of disparity. It's nothing homogeneous mass. It's very different country. Diversity is the word about India. So, when you're in North, it's not Indian food, and they have it, they have their own flavors. Uh, they eat a lot of wheat, they eat of meat as well, a lot of tea or butter, a uh, lot of veggies as well. In terms of spices, they would use more of cardamom, mace, uh, peppers. But when you go down south, they would use curry leaves, coconut. Uh, again, black peppers would come in, cinnamon would come in, cloves would come in. So, I think the flavors change in every state. It's it's a very different country. You have to give time to India to get to know India. You just cannot come and say, I know India. Definitely. And I think um, internationally, the perception of Indian food is just your traditional Mughlai cuisine, like the tandoori. And I, I feel like, you know, South Indian cuisine and, uh, you know, West Indian and East Indian, it all kind of gets a little bit lost. That's true. That's true. And, and it's purely because that was the first of its kind when that went out of India. Yeah. You know, the Mughlai food, tandoori chicken, that mm -hmm. were taken out of India. Mm -hmm. But now, especially in London, I cook in London. So in London, we have Gujarati restaurants, we have South Indian restaurants. And in South India also, it's specific. We have Chetinad restaurants, yeah. we have Kerala restaurants. And th those things make you think that, wow, our food is slowly arriving. And it's good that we are being able to do that. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for being on This Model Eats A Lot, Atul. And um, I'll definitely come and check out your restaurant. I look forward to that. London. And Finally, good to meet this model who eats a lot. Thank you, guys. <laughs>